I am nowhere near perfect. Don't ever, 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 ever think that I have it all together. Sana, we are struggling. Hey guys, it's been a minute. I'm so happy to be back. Today we are going to talk about a bit me. Both genders have pick me's. They work hard to gain validation, attention, acceptance. Pick me's never get picked. We are going to direct this behavior to someone who is going to pick us. And that is God. God is the only person who can pick you. It is time for you to pick something that is going to pick you put this behavior where it's going to bear fruit it is time to start living for god let's choose god this means we regularly connect with him and how do you do this by constantly reading the word because god is the word you can only discover who god is by reading your own bible god has so many layers in him and in order for you to discover those layers you need to read the bible you're going to see god picking you choosing you all to be seen all to be chosen all to be loved by our maker i am really big on reciprocating i am a reciprocator if i say that you love me Sana, I'm going to love you back. I'm going to match your energy. If you prioritize me, I'm going to prioritize you. God is not like that though. God is not a human being. That's not how he does things. God does above and beyond. God gave up his son Jesus so that we might believe. It wasn't guaranteed that we are going to be saved. God loved us while we were sinners. While we were still sinning, still living for our flesh, God loved us. We can only be nice to people who are nice to us. We can only love and care for people who cares for us, but God is different. He is not like us. You might love God because he blesses you, which is conditional. You are loving him because of the blessings, but he loves you regardless. When we wholeheartedly devote ourselves to God, we open a door to a deep and transformative relationship that brings not only peace, but joy, happiness, most importantly, fulfillment. This doesn't mean that God is going to answer all our prayers, how we want them and when we want them to be answered. God doesn't give us what we want. He gives us what we need because he knows what we need. Someone who can see how our decisions will affect us in the future, he's able to essentially prevent that from happening, prevent us from being hurt or from being harmed by our own decisions. So he will give you something that will bring you peace, something that you need not something that your flesh wants so regardless our time spent connecting with god it will prosper us it will protect us from a lot of harm god helps us navigate life he knows best he's a creator he has the manual of how things should be of how people see us because i can love someone but only God can see that person's true heart. God knows if that person has your best interest or not. I am not God. I'm incapable of seeing their thoughts, their hearts, but God is able. So he will do whatever he needs to do to protect us from harm. So from today, let us choose God. You can only discover who God is by reading your own Bible. I was a church goer and I used to be in church a lot. I loved going to church. I didn't have a personal relationship with God. I didn't know him on a deeper personal level. It is only when I started reading my own Bible that I discovered who God is for me. God has so many layers in him. And in order for you to discover those layers, you need to read the Bible. You need to pray. Because when you read his word, you know his heart. You know his ways. And you are able also to discern what is of God, what is not of God. People's intentions. Most people struggle with the need to impress people. Start asking God to give you the strength to choose him, to choose you, and to detach 
from those individuals who do not have your best interest god is going to help you build healthy boundaries he's going to help you to have self-respect he's going to help you to love yourself because people who are pygmies they do not love themselves then you are seeking god he rewires you he changes your mindset god restores people who have pure hearts job did not do anything to god all he did was live to please god he was living for god he was a righteous man and god gave him wealth job lost everything god restored him twice what he had before if you're going to choose god even in difficult times god is going to choose you bless you even more live for god choose god matthew 6 verse 33 seek first the kingdom of god seek first god and all these things that you are trusting god for will be provided to you what i have noticed is that when you do not live for god you are just existing just surviving i was looking at my life back then i'm like oh, i was just existing i was just existing i didn't have purpose like i didn't know now i know god said that we are perishing due to lack of knowledge now i have knowledge of who god is and who i am in god so now i'm living a life filled with purpose when you are living for you you are just existing and you know a life of a person existing living to survive and that is not the life i'm looking for that is not the life i want for you guys i want you guys to live a life that is fulfilling that has purpose a life without lack a god ordained life before i end this video i want you to know that i am nowhere near perfect don't ever 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 think that i have it all together somehow we are struggling but every day by god's grace we are able to rise above our struggles we are able to conquer things with god also you shouldn't be going to god for material things for prosperity for wealth for money you should seek your own personal journey your own personal relationship with god genuinely be genuine because if you are not genuine you are going to stop because you're gonna want to now and then check your balance i've been following you for months now like where is this money where is this wealth where is this prosperity where are these blessings no do it because you want to know god as well you want to have a relationship with god that is genuine that is authentic you want to be transformed you want god to work in you living for god also entails walking in the path god has designed for you keep your mind on him and whatever you do do it for God. Whatever you do, do it for Him. I hope you're going to start praying for everything. Pray for strength if you do not have strength. Self-control if you do not have self-control. It is time for you to pick something that is going to pick you. And that is living for God. Live for God. Let us start living for God. Comment below what should I talk about on our next get real with pam give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed i'll see you guys on the next get real with pam bye